Guys, you can enter to win this 1997 five-speed manual four-wheel drive OBS 7.3 Power Stroke plus $5,000 in cash. And on top of that, only from now until Sunday, well, until June 21st, which I think was yesterday, until Sunday, you can get dual entry. So in other words, let's just say in theory, you buy a few items on the store, which is 30 times entries right now, by the way, which is our best multiplier. And it adds up to 5,000 entries. You're gonna get 5,000 entries for this super pristine 73 power stroke and $5,000 cash, but you're also gonna get entered into the nasty red 2.0 giveaway, which I'll put that truck up right here. Check it out in all of its glory. That thing is gorgeous. You wanna get entered for both trucks at the same time. There's only a total of a five day window to get entered and you're probably down to the last two or three days at most by the time you see this. So do not wait around. If you've ever wanted to enter in one of our giveaways, there's no better time than dual entry because you get 30 times entries into two giveaways for the price of one in our highest bonus and spin the wheel deals are live on the site, which means you can enter your email, spin the wheel on the site and get additional bonus entries for completely free on us to add to any order that you place. So hit that link, description below, or just type in lmpgear.com and secure your entries with 30 times entries into both of these giveaways at the exact same time. Two trucks, two winners, two $5,000 cash options to go with both trucks. There's no better time. Here's another little quick look at this OBS thing is literally gorgeous. We're about to actually do another detail on We did just do a detail on that truck a few days ago, but of course it's already covered in stuff again. We haven't even driven the truck since we washed it last. <laughs> it's already covered in dirt. We have some unfortunate news about this truck that uh, we did not have any idea had actually happened until my father-in-law had mentioned that when he had wiped down his wife's car when they got back home because it was parked up here during that tornado and hailstorm. He's like, when it's a little bit dirty, you couldn't tell, but once you cleaned it up, you could see the little hail dents all over the hood, all over the top of the cab, like all over the top of the car, top of the hood, some of the fenders. Uh, and there's actually a lot of little dents. And so I got to look at my wife's truck a little bit closer and um, I thought, you know, I'll just give it a look. You never know. Cause maybe I just didn't notice it. And you can definitely see there's a good example of one there, there. Um, there's a lot of little, it's kind of hard to tell in videos. It's one of those things like with hail dents, it can be kind of hard to see in video unless they're really substantial. Um, but like there's even a few small ones on the fender. Again, kind of hard to see. You can, you can definitely know that they're there. There was a couple on the driver's side bedside also like if you look here there's a couple little hill dents along there the driver's side passenger door had a couple little hail dents up there and then like i said the sun blasting on it makes it kind of hard to see but if you look at the top of the cab you can kind of notice the little ripply spots all over the top of the truck you can again you can kind of see them there there's little dings all over they're like little dime and quarter size hail dents all over and i don't know if this will help with the visual on the hood or not but you can just kind of tell there's little tiny dents all over the hood if you look at the fender here too you can see again you can see some of those little ripply spots and they got dinged up. So that's that's a little bit unfortunate because we didn't think anything got damaged from the hail um, until we started to look it over a little bit closer. And it's not really something that we were too concerned about, honestly. Um, we were thinking, ah, eh, there's probably no hail damage on it, you know? And we just kind of took a quick little glance, walk around, we're like, nah, that's good but it was also covered in dust, like it still is right now. And once you start to wipe off some of those spots, you can see 
where once it's cleaned, you can see the shiny little ripply looking spots all over the top of the cab and the hood. Now, I don't know how insurance is gonna deal with that if they are at all going to be like, no, we're not gonna do anything about it. Or if they're like, yeah, there's enough there that will cover it, or I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but we did send a claim in just because, you know, it's kind of a bummer. It's not like it's a deal breaker because the truck still looks really good and those things you can't really notice. But, you know, figure why not? Worst that could happen is they send us a check for the damage and they evaluate it and send us for what they think it's worth to get fixed. Or we take it to a local shop, have them go over it and give us their estimate and then have them discuss with the insurance company all the numbers and stuff like that and have them deal with it. And they might be able to, you know, either get the truck mostly repainted or at least all that stuff fixed or they might you know at least compensate us for the fact that there's damage and let us choose whoever we want to get it fixed by because i'm pretty sure you can choose whoever you want so we'll see how that goes i don't know but there was damage on it there is hail damage it's not it's not like catastrophic it's not like the windshields all busted out or anything like that but there is enough there that it was like we should probably note this because this truck didn't have all these little dents all over the hood and all over the cab so at a minimum, it would be nice to at least get compensated. So if we do want to get it fixed or if Reagan does want to get it fixed, she has the option to do that. And I will say this, we have had insurance and I've paid insurance, homeowners insurance and vehicle insurance on like right now we've got two trucks in the barn. We got the OBS sitting there. We got her truck sitting there. We got the car in the garage. We got five vehicles here on insurance and I always pay the best full coverage premium on everything that we have because i don't care if it's from a storm somebody bumps into us in a parking lot you know you hit hydroplane and end up damaging a vehicle and there's nobody else involved no matter what i make sure that all of our vehicles have the best coverage on it and you know it seems it seems like a waste when you go you know years and years and years and years you go through like we've gone through 40 oh my goodness like 48 or 50 some vehicles between giveaways and personal vehicles that we've never filed one claim on anything um and now that i think about it even with reagan's truck rosine when she had hydroplane that one time and she hit a guardrail technically we could have filed a claim on that and been compensated to at least have that bumper and all that front end refixed but you know we, we still didn't mess with it because for the most part we've never messed with insurance claims ever because We've just never been in any accidents or we've never had any kind of damage that's worth reporting. Nothing that we've ever been like, oh man, we we need to get that taken care of. Because stuff like even her bumper was like, okay, you're going to have to pay a $500 deductible. For 500 bucks, I can just <laughs> buy a new fourth gen bumper and have it repainted. So it's not even worth it. But for something like that, that, you know, for them to technically do it the right way and fix the dents on the bedside, the top of the cab, top of the hood, driver fender, passenger fender, two of the doors, because there are like little hail dents along the tops of the door frames. Um, that's something that would be worth noting because well, it is actually probably gonna cost a bunch of money if we actually wanna get it fixed. Or luckily, all of the other trucks, you know, my grandpa's truck, um, OBS, Nasty Red, the Honda, everything else was parked indoors and we didn't have to worry about it. But the one that was parked out, it does have hail damage. So that being said, that's the update on that because I think Reagan said in the previous video, oh, luckily none of the vehicles were damaged, nothing got hail damage. Well, actually, her mom's car, her truck, and possibly the trailer did actually get hail damage, just nothing that was bad enough to be very noticeable. For the most part, we're not that picky of people, you know? For, I mean, we're not like, oh my gosh, my vehicle got a rock ship. I, I hate it. I need insurance to take care of it for stupid stuff. You know, we've like I said, we've never filed an insurance claim for any of that stuff ever. That one seemed like it might be worth noting. <laughs> <laughs> at least because that does mess with the vehicle's value depending on who's looking at it or wanting to buy it down the road so anyways guys last couple of days basically down to the last hours to enter to win this truck nasty red at the exact same time last chance for good to get entered to win nasty red the 12 out cummins plus five thousand dollars in cash it ends on sunday sunday night last day last chance hit that link on biggear.com grab a shirt hat hoodie sticker anything you want on the site we actually have a few on sale items right now as well so definitely check those out because we're not going to have those up for very long and once they're not on sale anymore they're no longer on sale but if you guys want to grab some stuff grab it while you can spin the wheel get a deal i'll catch you guys here in the next video peace